r slash ask reddit what is a reason to live because if i killed myself then a bunch of freaking girls who bullied me in school would post about me on instagram about how sad they are and how nice they were to me and those hoes don't deserve to have the chance this is actually oddly inspiring how ironic you can die at any time but once you die you can't go back to being alive also brownies I don't even like brownies, but I was thinking about suicide. Thanks for saving me. For a while when I was really depressed, what kept me going was the small things. A video call with a friend, seeing my friend's cat, a great meal I was waiting for, a movie I'd been wanting to see. The small things eventually add up to a series of live days and the days become weeks and months and eventually years. It's all about the small victories to get you through dark times. Just gotta keep on keeping on. The big picture can be extremely overwhelming in tough times. It's day to day, minute to minute victories that can get you back on the right track. No doubt about it. I mean, who else is going to kiss the homies goodnight? Love it. So nice. As thanks mate, if you are really feeling suicidal, you should really talk to someone trusted or a therapist. Sorry to assume. I just don't know if you really are looking for a reason to live or just asking a question. Cheers. Hot showers. Just, hot showers is all I need. Those are amazing in the winter. Conversely, a pool in the summer. To outlive your enemies. I'm here for that. To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of their women. You ever just step on a leaf and it's C-R-O-N-C-H. I also like just lightly kicking my way through leaves on the ground. Kicking my way downtown. Walking light and I'm eastbound. Shaw sure armors from that place downtown. To take care of your cat. For those who live in apartments that don't allow cats, shelters will sometimes let you volunteer to socialize and play with the kittens. Cats are a universally valid reason to live. Can confirm. Knowing I wouldn't be able to get up and feed the cats. Thinking about how distressed they would be if I wasn't around anymore, was the only thing that stopped me some nights. My husband tells me how when I leave the house the blind one walks around crying for me, and totally gutted me thinking about him doing that and then never coming home to him. Some good ass cinnamon rolls. I once ate a cinnamon roll that came out of the oven when I walked into the bakery, now I understand why people give themselves diabetes. I make fresh cinnamon rolls maybe two or three times a year for special occasions. It's a very special pleasure. Mood and circumstances are temporary. Death is permanent. 32 was the worst year of my life. I thought I might die at one point. Had I died, I'd have never taken the best vacation of my life. I'd have never become an uncle. I wouldn't have been there to help family and friends through their own problems. I don't regret a moment of living no matter how painful it gets. Man, I'm 28 and this is the worst year of my life. Lost everything except my job. I'm broken and can only hope that, like you, things get better. Because this is hard. Cyberpunk 2077 is less than a week from release. If it gets delayed again, I'll send you a message and make sure everything is okay. LOL. All these answers are so good. That feeling after winter and it's the first semi-warm day and you walk outside and it's amazing and that feeling fills you right up. Additionally, the first real fall day where things feel brisk enough to wear a sweater, but not cold enough for a heavy jacket. Sweater weather as they call it. Unless you live in a cold climate, that first brisk day is a sad one that makes you gird your loins for what is to come. Raising a middle finger of defiance to whatever mental life problem makes one consider offing themselves. Spite is like 85% of my motivation to do anything. Anger. Most days the only thing keeping me going is wanting to prove a lot of people wrong. To crush your enemies. To see them driven before you. And to hear the lamentations of their women. Personally I just really focus on trying to live in each moment. That sounds like a cliche and it kind of is, but there is something to it, like, start noticing things, take pleasure in the little stuff you notice around you. Another thing is the challenge I give myself every day, be a good human, it's surprisingly hard but rewarding work. Finally, don't let the world make you hurry, I mean, obviously we all need to show up at work or school on time, 
etc. But to whatever extent you can, just live at your own pace. Don't feel like you need to rush to the next thing. You are in a thing already so pay attention. I know I sound nuts lol. Doesn't sound nuts at all. I hear ya. Transformation of yourself. There's always room to grow. Robots in disguise. Puppies. I wish dogs lived longer. It's heartbreaking when they die. I just discovered Kim's convenience and it's pretty funny. And I'm only on season 2. So there's that. I'm here and have been given this cool thing called consciousness so I might as well ride it out. That my dog will be sad if I die. Set a new personal record. Be immortal. You're only mortal if you die. So until you die, no one can say you are immortal. Family and friends. I can't imagine putting my loved ones through the trauma of dealing with my death. This is what keeps me alive. Looking for a reason to live. Tomorrow, I've been at a spot where I didn't want to live anymore. But then I realized, once it was over, it was over. Also realized that once it was over, it wouldn't matter anyways. It is very freeing in a sense. So, I decided that I would experience every moment of it. The good and the bad. Our gift, and our curse, is self-awareness. But we are the epitome of billions of years of evolution. So, tomorrow, until there are none left. Doing things that you like to do, they give you joy. As someone who struggled with this question, the past 5 years have been so crazy on so many fronts that I kinda wanna see how shit plays out in this new age. How far up or down will we go? I wonder how people will look back on this time in history, where the world suddenly became very connected. Learning. Seriously, there's so much to learn. The world has so much to offer. Physics. Biology. Arts, language, history, music, philosophy. There's more to see than could ever be seen in a lifetime. That always helps me get out of bed and do stuff. I want to experience and learn as much about the universe within my limited time as I can. Life is cyclical. It's meant to have mistakes and suffering as a means of appreciation for being alive at all. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.